Captivate. Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And very excited to be bringing you this group stage game from the UEFA Champions League. It's Sparta Prague versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, it wasn't the worst result for Arsenal, but they'll need to get all three points here today just to put them in a strong position in this group. Let's hope they play well. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the striker today is Alexander Isak. Well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, he's a player full of confidence at the moment. What a hat-trick it was in the last match. Every time the ball came to me, he looked really threatening. His finishing was excellent. He's certainly going to be a marked man today. Delivering it into the box. Oh, a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. That is how to keep it out of the net. Just cutting off the supply. Martin Odegaard. Martinelli Martinelli intercepted effortlessly and it's with Isaac oh that's top-notch goalkeeping you've got to say And a scoring update for you from the Borussia Dortmund match. Alex Scott has the information. Yes, it's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. They're the first on the score sheet here with 25 minutes on the clock. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Saka. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Zeleni. Lachi. Birmancevic. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Good use of advantage. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. And we're moving ever closer to half-time with Arsenal behind here. Stuart, interested to get your take as regards their first-half performance. Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. A terrific piece of goalkeeping. So the corner played into the box. Good piece of defending. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, surely. And effectively parried away by the keeper. So the whistle... So into the second half, and Arsenal with a bit of work ahead of them. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. And he's keen on cutting in. Isaac, it's there for him. 
And look at that, a goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. So, a level contest, 1-1. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. And Arsenal unable to retain possession. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. 30 minutes left for play. And the ref... He felt he had to blow the whistle. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Isaac. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. So there we have it. 2-1. Asker Sorensen. Filip Panak. Birmančević. And easily intercepted. Declan Rice Grimaldo with it well doesn't have to do it on his own and let's give credit to the defending right let's send it over to Alex Scott because I believe Alex there's been a goal in the Dortmund game yes it's a goal for Borussia Dortmund they've pulled one back with... and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save so a personnel change then Advantage, Arsenal. Well, he stopped them in their tracks. 15 minutes left for play. And it's with Isaac. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, defensive resilience there. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. Khan Kairinen. Well, we did have to cut off Alex for understandable reasons in this case. To confirm, Dortmund have scored in that game, and they hold the aces presently, leading 2-1. Grimaldo. There's the cutback. And rattling the post. Well, for a second, I thought that was going to seal it. Still enough time for an equaliser here, though. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Sadilek. He has teammates around him, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! 
to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Goals in plentiful supply. And now it is official. The referee brings this match to an end. And it's a victory for the Gunners. Yeah, good result today. And with four points from six, they've put themselves in a decent...